It's vile. Meghan and Harry under fire for silence after tarnishing firm to Oprah, they are liars. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey is still sending shockwaves through the royal family one year on, while many of the questions raised by the couple's explosive claims remain unanswered. A number of the claims the Sussexes made in the interview remain unresolved, including which royal questioned Archie's skin tone and what caused the strained relationship between Prince Harry and his family. Speaking on the anniversary of the interview, which aired in the UK on 8 March, co-host of the Royal Us podcast Christina Ross claimed the couple have not backed up many of the allegations. She said, we're still feeling the repercussions from that today, a year later. They still haven't fleshed out all the issues and accusations and all the claims that were made. It's amazing how much this interview has really shaken things up. The interview reached an audience of 50 million people around the world and sparked widespread controversy, with the Queen herself issuing a response to the Sussex's claims of alleged mistreatment. The Queen's statement said, The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan, and Archie will always be much-loved family members. But many questions raised by the tell-all chat remain unanswered. The couple have not revealed which member of the royal family allegedly made comments about Archie's skin color. Meghan told Oprah that there were several conversations between herself, Harry and other royals about how dark their baby could be before Archie was born. She said, in those months when I was pregnant, there were, concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he was born. Prince Harry added, that conversation, I am never going to share. At the time it was awkward, I was a bit shocked. Harry clarified during the interview that it was not the Queen or Prince Philip who asked the question, while Meghan said it would be too damaging to reveal who questioned Archie's skin tone. Following the interview, Prince William said the royals are very much not a racist family. Buckingham Palace vowed to address the claims privately, however it is still unclear who made the comments a year on. Prince Harry has also not confirmed what caused the rift between himself and Prince William and his father Prince Charles following months of speculation over the family's relationship. He said, as I've said before, I love William to bits. He's my brother. We've been through hell together. We have a shared experience, but we were on different paths. He added, my father and my brother, they are trapped. They don't get to leave. And I have huge compassion for that. Harry also revealed that Prince Charles stopped taking his calls after he and Meghan decided to step down as senior royals. He said, I feel really let down because he's been through something similar, he knows what pain feels like and Archie is his grandson. But at the same time, of course I will always love him but there's a lot of hurt that's happened and I will continue to make it one of my priorities to try and heal that relationship. Meghan also sent speculation swirling over an alleged argument between herself and Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, when she told Oprah that Kate made her cry in the run-up to the Sussexes' wedding in 2018. Claims that Meghan had brought Kate to tears over an argument concerning flower girl dresses had circulated before the pair left the royal family, however Meghan said it was the other way around. The royal family has not commented on the rumors and Kate has not clarified her position, meaning it is still unclear what happened between the pair. Meghan also revealed that she had suicidal thoughts during her time as a senior royal but claimed that she was told she could not seek mental health support. Was told she could not